Okay, today we're up in the Yucca Valley and we're by the Pioneer Town Mount Preserve. We're going to be hiking up the Chaparosa Peak Road, and uh, then, but we're going to cut off that and head over to Pipes Canyon. And so uh, we've got our trusty hikers up here and everybody's just getting ready. And we've started on our hike and here comes our trusty hikers heading on the trail to Chaparosa Peak. Yeah, we're ready to go. Sheila, Kelly, Christy, and Josh. Okay. Well, we've hiked up a ways and uh, we're up on a bit of a rise here. We have some interesting rock formations. All these rocks in the background are all nice and smooth. We'll be hiking up through them shortly and our trusty hikers are on their way. So here's a closer view of the smooth rocks that I just showed you. And we've got a poor little tree that kind of gave up the ghost. So we'll be looking at some more of these smooth rocks shortly. Okay, how's that rock? Hey, this it's, is fun. Yeah, I don't it's know. It's like a teeter-totter. Nobody teeter -totter wants to go rock. on that way. We'll Nobody. teeter-totter rock in Chaparosa Trail. Josh said he'd like to just, if he had a whole bunch of guys, they'd lift it and roll it down the embankment. Okay. All right, on to the next spot. And we've just left the rocking rock, and we're working our way up the trail. We're just about through the rock garden. Here comes our hikers. Just a little panorama view. And here's another little pile of boulders. Okay, we've been working our way along the trail and some of our trusty hikers have decided that they need to be up on the rock. Okay, there they we're are. Been heading up the Chasaro, Chaparosa Peak Road, and uh, now we've got the cutoff that's going to take us back over to uh, Pipes Canyon. And so our trusty hikers are heading up over this hill. We're almost at the 5,000 foot of elevation. We've been hiking for about two and a half miles and we've got another five or so to go. There they go. Okay, we're at about the high point on the trail. We're at about 5,200 feet. And uh, now pretty soon we're gonna start work, be working our way down into Pipes Canyon, which is very interesting. Josh thinks he needs a snack. There they go. They've decided it's time for okay, a sandwich we've hiked break. Across from Indian Canyon over to, I believe this is the top of Pipes Canyon. And uh, there's a little riverbed here. Not much water in it right now, but we still have to make our way down the valley into Pipes Canyon itself. Okay, we're going. Okay, we're working our way down into Pipes Canyon. We've uh, managed to come about 3.75 miles, dropped about a couple hundred feet of elevation, and we're working our way down the rocks. Everybody's doing good. Oops. Oh, they've got the music playing. Oh yeah, now he's got music going. Yeah. I don't know why. Here they come. Hi. Hello. Hello. And they're still working their way down here. It's a little slippery. So they're taking it pretty easy. Josh has got the music going here. So we're rocking our roll, rolling down here. There goes Christy. Oh, 
Okay. So we found this silver shiny gold. item, gold item, and it was uh, stuck up against a bush. Looks like it's a, a balloon, might have been a helium filled balloon that deflated. That's what I said it was. And landed there. here. So we've decided to be environmentalists and we're going to take it with us and pack it out. Good job team. All right. And we're working our way back down the trail. A couple of trail marker posts here. And we're getting down into the Pipes Creek Canyon. There's not any water in it right here, but we're hoping we're going to find some. We've been walking through Pipes Canyon, and this is the area where there's quite a bit of water close to the surface. We haven't seen any yet, but um, it allows all these trees to grow. And here comes our hikers, and they're going to be uh, checking out the Olsen ruins, which are just over here. It's an old house that was built by a prospector who was murdered by a fellow that he had befriended. Way back when. So they're checking out the cold room. And uh, we're going to have a look in here in a minute to see what they're looking at. Okay. So this is what's in the cold room. It's got a stone ceiling, plastered stone ceiling with a hole in it, which might have been for the chimney. This might have been the original part of the house and then he expanded the house. And here's a view from above the Olsen ruins. Our team's assembled and uh, they're waiting for the final leg of our hike, which we will begin shortly. And here's our final view of the Olsen ruins as we're going to start heading down the trail back to the car. Well, we were hoping to find a little bit of water, and we have. Besides our drinking water? But just a little bit. It's not running very much this year, but it is running down through Pipes Canyon. Okay, we're in Pipes Canyon, and as promised, there's pipes in Pipes Canyon, right along the side of the trail, as we work our okay, way back. we've walked down the trail quite a ways on our way out of Pipes Canyon. Here comes the rest of the team, and we're just going to have a look at a little detour here, and we believe there's some petroglyphs here. So we're just going to stop in here and see if we can see them. We're not sure how well you can see these, but they're chipped into the rocks and we have some ancient petroglyphs. Nobody knows what they mean, <laughs> but they are some kind of sign. Up further on this rock up here, oh, yeah. there's some more. Some of them are shaped like a chain. You see? It's very interesting. You see up there, their little circles? Mm -hmm. Well, we've checked out the petroglyphs, and that's the last big item on our trip. I can see the ranger station. And we're heading back to the ranger station, and that's it for our hike to Chaparosa, Indian Canyon, and Pipes Canyon. We're gone.
<laughs> Worth it.